Uh, yeah, I can't hear you. Sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, what, what is it? Uh, okay, hi, honey. Sure, sure. This time the diarrhea is so serious, right? I, I, I got fever yesterday and the, the day before yesterday. What do you eat? I don't know. <laughs> That's the problem. So I went to the doctor. I think it's food poisoning. The doctor say just just let it go. Oh, can, can. Anytime then you bring the whole laptop to the toilet. La. Okay. Why? Why are you not win? Of course I'm not happy. La. <laughs> I don't like them to win. La. But sure, sure. I have to say, right? They they play a very good match, bro. I, I thought we will be ending it early. But then the the whole the Mapa. You support Argentina. Huh? You support I know. Argentina. I don't mind anything. Okay. Really, but then but then I, I mean like since it's Messi's final cup. Uh, I, I, I mean, like, he, he can win, though. Sorry, first of all, I don't like Argentina. Second of all, I don't care who is Messi. Third of all, okay, uh, I have to say that you are right. Uh, Argentina, for this time round, they deserve to win because they really fight all the way out. Actually, uh, it's a really 3-0 already, right? 2-0, right? It's, it's a, it's a, it was 2-0 in yeah, the first game. it's a closing game. game already. They just need to defense, that's all. Yeah. And All then right, the Papa get the penalty scored, and then within like two minutes he got another score. I was very shocked. Yeah, it's like Messi was all the people was crying. Then when they score again, Argentina score again. Then Mamba, uh, Mamba, 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 Mamba is a uh, Mamba. But how you pronounce that? Mamba. 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 Seriously, too I arrogant. I mean, have you seen what he did? He he took the trophy and then like, you know. Yeah. Uh, I didn't see the part when they, they announced to take the trophy, I switch off with it. <laughs> Wait, uh, Bacha, another question is, uh, when will we be meeting? Like, next time? Anytime, like, if you want to go down to the shop in Willock Place or Plaza Sing, you can visit me. In fact, on Saturday, I will be there. Mm. Yeah. This Saturday? Yeah, this Saturday, I think most... Yeah, we don't have swimming. We're not filming this uh, after nah, but, uh, but I think this two weeks I might be in Malaysia as well. My again? Oh, all right. Yeah. We will meet again, don't worry. Okay, like guys, uh, this will be the last lesson for 2022. So the last lesson, okay, we're going to have a big band and hopefully we'll run out. And then if you all want to continue, it will be next year, Thursday, as usual, the same time. But like I say the next year, uh, I'm not scaring you off, huh? Definitely every lesson you have to do something, uh, at least write at least 80 to 100 words. Uh, uh, not just preparing you for your, your, your set three or your O level or even there are someone coming in, okay? Uh, because this is supposed to be like that next year. So it's very, very heavy and a lot of writing and a lot of uh, argumentative or even the IP essay about 50%. And um, um, that's why next week got no tuition, you know why, honey? I'm preparing all the materials, the plan for next year, all right? So, yep, let's talk about this again. Uh, we have uh, Yi Po talking about the concert, right? And then Tian Yu done, done it there also. And then Han Lin, Han Zach also talked talk about it. I said, Han Lin, Han Lin, you haven't given me the, your details for this one. Okay, but never mind, we just uh, add it out. Okay, so uh, Yi Po, are you ready? Are you okay? Can read, huh? Yeah, I can. One more time, just to recap and refresh. Uh. So, uh, Han Ling, uh, when Zach and Yi Po and Tian Yu finish already, uh, you, you please give me your two cents worth of talk and put it here. Just to complete it, okay? Thank you, uh, Yi Po. Wait, sorry, what is it about again? It's about the picture, remember, concert, the Earth Day concert? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, then uh, what is your opinion on that? Uh? Okay, come, Yi Po. In my opinion, this concert could gain people's awareness on protecting our environment. However, it's not enough as not everyone could attend the concert. And the people who do attend the concert is more likely to be after the performance itself, ignoring the environment part, hence the trash afterwards. This is very ironic as the true meaning of the concert is to gain awareness for environment protection. Thus, this concert could be regarded as a failure in its motive. Thank you. Uh, Ipo, you mean yesterday you got diarrhea? You see doctor yesterday, is it? Yeah, I went to see yesterday. But it has uh, been going okay. on for a few days. So today you still vomit. I'm still not vomit. Still diarrhea. Yes, I have been. I, I, sure, I used two rolls of paper in three days. No, not so bad. Uh. Do you, you, don't you have don't a Don't use toilet paper. Use a spray. Yeah, don't you use a spray? No, we don't have the spray. The spray is not long enough to reach. No, the spray on your backside you don't have. Uh. Don't have a. 
Oh, yeah, okay. like my never buy. Uh, you don't. No, it's not never mind. You didn't install it, the things. Okay, all right. So it's okay. So let's talk about Yip Wong's. Uh, how I reflect on this uh, paragraph is that the author, which is who is Yip Wong, was suggesting that. Are you okay? Or you just lying down? Huh? Uh, not really. I, I I am like hiding my my. Are you in the toilet? No, <laughs> no. Then you lie down on the bed, lah. Tie the you in your stomach. Ah, lie down on the bed. Okay. So this, this, ah, uh, yeah, lie down, relax. That's I don't think that always works too well. Okay, come. Ah, uh, let's go about it. Was one now. So what the author say that um, uh, it is still not enough, even though we have this concept, but somehow it backfire. It it have a repercussion effect. That saying that looks by right, we're supposed to create awareness. End up, we are making the things worse. And it doesn't make sense because all these things have a, a, a what kind of a, a vicious um vicious cycle impact on this. So yep, okay. Next, who's done? Who's done? Is that Zach? Huh? okay. I I uh uh how late uh we are typing out so I will read lah. Huh? Okay, Zach is my opinion on this question is that people at the concert regarding climate change. This could raise awareness in people about climate change and give them a basic understanding on why climate change is important and what they can do to contribute in helping save the environment. However, don't mind you. However, there could there would be people missing out on the concert, which will make them have lesser understanding on climate change compared to the people who were there at the concert. Despite the efforts of the event organizer, the people. At the concert, will still probably leave trash, rubbish, and all over the place at, at, at the concert's premises. Okay. So what does this author means or uh, reflects on this author? What he say is that, uh, based on what he thinks, that this concert sometimes is really a waste of resources, waste of time, and because not everyone are able to attend it, it might not, it might not, um, it depletes the purpose of the LK. And those who are really need to attend is they are the one who maybe have the biggest impact to the global warming or the climate change. But some or other, they did not turn up means that they know that it is pointless. I tell you to attend this kind of concert because I really create carbon footprint. I create more carbon dioxide. Why should I fly all the way to attend these stupid concerts when I? I suppose to save the earth, and then no need this concept to create awareness that we must save the earth. Um, that's what I think uh, the author means here by Zachary. All right, so uh, Tian Yu, are you ready? Okay. Wait, uh, wait, um, I first, wait, wait. Uh, okay. My opinion on this picture is that a concept about the climate change is happening. This can help raise the awareness of climate change to people in the concert and people who will watch the replay of the of this concert online. Watching the concert can help teach the audience the importance of climate change and what they can do to prevent it from getting worse. Those who didn't watch the replay or the live concert are going to lose out on the knowledge. Though the though the people at the concert are most likely going to be trash after the concert. Yeah. So what does this author mean? This author tell you means that uh it is very paramount important that uh people create the awareness knowing that this global climate changes, this global warming is going to have a strong impact. By using this concert, honestly, does this concert, they sing all about Earth Day songs or they just sing their own songs just to create? Or is it because of that they create party and, and, and kind of uh, just to have fun and entertainment? Or is it because they think that through this concert, they can give a better spectrum because circumference of people to able to join in and to pr protect Mother Earth? So that's how this author is talking about, all right? Can you? It's not around, huh? Is can you that no? Uh, is it better? Hi. Ipo? Ipo, is that your face? Uh, no. Oh, it's to like make. So huh? it's to it's to make myself look like I am more like you know. Yeah. Active. Okay, fine. Then myself, I put the avatar. Avatar. No, but it feels weird to like point the camera at me when I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sort of. Wait. Uh. Okay, uh, Han Ling, are you ready? Your turn. Yes, I'm ready. Um, 
My opinion on this concert is that it may not be significant enough to influence large masses to engage in a more environmentally friendly approach to living. In addition, large amount of resources have to be allocated to the concert, and even without accounting the waste that will be produced by the participants, the cost of holding this concert alone will overshadow the protection of the earth by a large amount. So this author, I'm reflecting on this author who wrote this honey, saying that uh, yeah, it's kind of pointless. It's not so significant. My right is supposed to engage people who are doing in the right things like save the environments. But having said that, the allocation of these kind of materials resources are quite uh, unnecessary because uh, instead of saving the environments, you are using more resources for the natural resources, um, like burning the fossil fuel to have the powerful lightings effects, uh, things like you know, um, need more um, security manpower. Uh, more cars will be uh, deployed, like those, um, what I call these um, petrol cars to ensure safety of the people. So end up, it is like not really significant at all. And in fact, it is not good at all. In fact, it will also backfire because at the amount of things that they spend on it, it's supposed to use it for other purposes. But now because of these stupid things called Earth Day uh, concert, uh, not Earth Day, uh, concerts kind of really um, not doing their the right duties that is to protect Mother Earth, but end up they are spending more and create the Mother Earth even more suffering because of all these pollutions. Imagine every year or every one year got two, three these type of concerts. It's kind of really wasting a lot of resources where all these resources may, can be channeled to help the poorest country, the people who are in need of survival than putting all these things. But then again, this is the world, uh, honey. Uh, thank you. Okay, let's move on to this one here. So what is your definition of global warming? Tell you, you haven't finished, huh? So this, uh, today is the last lesson, okay? So take it easy. Uh, don't stress too much. Uh, most of the time we are talking about how are we going to, to make it um, uh, viable about what global warming because this topic will be very uh, closely related to Ipo next year. Okay, so Ipo, are you ready to, to read? Yes, I can read. <laughs> Go. Okay, wait, 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 wait. When Ipo is reading, uh, I want Tian Yu to reflect on this while no, no, not Tianyu. Han Ling has, uh, will reflect on this because Tianyu has to complete the, this global warming definition. So Han Ling has to reflect on what Yibo has. Is really Wait, sure. this one was last week, right? Yes. Oh, I see. Yibo? Global warming is the changing of global temperature due to greenhouse gases trapping heat from the sun. These greenhouse gases are commonly produced by human activities. This can lead to dire situations where we may face challenges as a species due to global warming. This event also create, causes extinction of species. This event can also lead to rising sea temperature, which melts the icebergs, leading to rising sea level. Okay, Halin, how are you going to reflect on this part of you? Um... Okay, uh, it's not like I haven't heard all of these before. It's like a pretty common topic discussed, but very it's yes. it, it's true that all the all these facts are definitely very true, mm -hmm. and it's just nothing new in the end. Because everyone talks about this on like a day to day, week to week basis. You see this on the news all the time. People talk about it all the time. No, no. Yeah. What does this author means here? I I just want to know what the what you he think means that we need to do something to stop. All this That's global all? warming and stuff before it gets really, really bad and it uh -huh. just overwhelms humanity itself. Huh? Okay, thank you. So you are right, no, honey. It's like a, like a kotoi. Yeah, it's a very common topic. It's everywhere. It's like it's it's like a, a must topic to talk about when we are dealing with global uh, not global about the environments. Uh. it's a it's an in thing that if you talk about environments, this one will not be escaped. All right, thank you. Uh, Han Ling, your turn. And when Han Ling is doing this, uh, Yi Po, you have to reflect on what Han Ling has read. Han Ling, your turn, please. Thank you. Global warming is the long-term heating of Earth due to human activities, primarily fossil fuel burning, which increases heat trapping greenhouse gases levels in Earth's atmosphere. Global warming has become a serious issue in recent days with temperatures going higher and higher every year, affecting livelihoods and animal habitats. Global warming has most heavily affected the ice caps which have melted 
and caused rising sea levels. Such will affect coastal inhabitants and businesses. Overall, global warming is a serious problem for the whole Earth, and many things have to be done to stop it. Thank you very much. Back to you, Ipo. Are you able to reflect on this? Ipo? I can't hear you. I, I think, like, it's just like, uh, how do I say? Uh, it's, it's like, it's like, like at, at like at this point like like everyone knows like what global warming is caused by because it's like integrated in your education system well done well said well. yes true okay that's what the audience means huh? okay carry on so like the what did I say the author is like encouraging you to like you know like because like it is it's like integrated in your like education system but like like many people like you know generations don't actually take our education system like seriously like they just learn it they know it but they they don't care about it no action done so like i think the author is trying to encourage a certain form of action to solve the problem ah oh, well said that's the last sentence i want to hear they are looking to, to see how can we address address and arrest the problem uh, so that they want uh, the author want to need the button and to make sure that uh, this issue will not overflow for the to the next generation maybe okay uh Zach, your turn Zach, your turn to read Zach. okay I read now all right so global warming is the earth heating up due to human adapt activities on earth humans carry out daily activities such as driving cars some of these cars release carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide and pass it to Ebo hunting and then you causing the earth greenhouse effects level to increase uh, is worse than the parting smell, I know. This will result in rising temperatures on earth, which will cause icebergs to melt, uh, resulting in rising sea levels and causing certain countries to sink, such as Venice and Bangkok. All right. Can you, you done with it? Okay, Harley, how do you reflect on what exactly is written? Uh, honestly, this is a this goes into slightly more detail and like yes, okay, the, yeah. like in, in the end, I think it's a problem with the transport lah. So maybe electric cars will be a problem to a lot of the greenhouse gases in the future. Mm. And uh, there's nothing that can be really done like to stop the uh the uh, ice caps thing because sad, huh? the, we, we don't we don't go after the ozone layer and start patching it up it, it just doesn't work like that the ice caps are gonna melt in the end <laughs> hey and then how the polar bear the seal and all these animals in the north oh well, that's not our problem to deal with uh, is it no oh, oh, very bad. no the problem is that we can't create large-scale ice chunks uh yeah it's true, it's true. that's our entire problem right now we can't just give them a floating platform it doesn't yeah. work and we can't recreate a giant ice chunk either. Yeah, the ice good. stuff was done by nature, so. No, we can do it. By then, I think in the 50 years time or 80 years time, uh, scientists may create the artificial iceberg there, which is like uh, man-made, but it's still an iceberg. It's just that, like you know, you know, honey, in your refrigerator, you can make ice cube, right? Uh, instead of waiting for the snow to come. So there's a possibility uh, in order to balance the whole entire Earth's um, uh, ecosystem, right? Thank you. All right, uh, Tianyu, your turn, please. Global warming is a gradual, long-term increase in the average temperature of Earth and atmosphere due to the greenhouse effects where gases from various human activities, including the burning for the burning of fossil fuel trap out, trap heat from solar radiation. So this authors um mentioned that this global warming is like a, is like a time bomb. Because he said gradually that it will, will affect the Earth. So it's a time bomb that any time the Earth will just collapse and will create a catastrophe, a disaster, a, a very or devastating negative in, in, impacts to all this. Why? Because uh, ultimately, if you are not going to do something, then uh, our life will be at stake and the environments will be at stake and, and the human activities will be caused by all these uh, radiation, which will cause cancerous and, and disease. So global warming is really that serious that if we are not going to take action immediately now, 
not even a, if you are not taking a small step uh, to start off, uh, then by the time there's this big hole in the ozone layer or, or something like that, that will be so oh, good luck to you, man, baby. All right, so let's move on. All right, uh, the, okay, the three of you can do now. Then what types of global warming do you think is bad to the environment? So you can talk about uh, what type of global warming. Is it got the noise, air, or is it something else besides the air, noise, water, sounds, pollutions, or, or light pollution, or whatever pollution? Ah? Okay, get think of. Let's go. Yeah, then shouldn't you change like global warming to pollution? No, I don't want. Correct. You are right. I don't want to do that. Yeah, good question, uh, Ibo. Yes. I, I like the people to talk to me like that. Uh. And yesterday, I got one staff uh, also talk to me like, why should you put national service and education in a part-time form? So we will argue at what time or tenure? 1 to 2 a.m. Seriously. 1 to 2 a.m. Seriously. Okay. Yeah. All right. Can we continue from the three of you here? Hey, this is your last piece of homework for Uncle Raymond. Now. So I want to finish up. I said Zachary cannot come on time. So sorry, Isaac. So uh, this is the last piece because we got still a lot to talk, discuss. Huh? Seriously. Okay. Let's finish this one. Okay, please type your answer. It need not have to be 50 words or all this. Just a few sentences. What do you think about the global warming effects that is bad to environments? Uh, is it um, building many houses, tearing down, uh, um, tearing down all the deforestations, building more industrial, building more houses? Is, is it a good way? Or is it a bad way? You know, you know, you know um, uh, Ken, Johan, Ling, Zachary. In Singapore, land is very scarce scarcities of lands is very common in Singapore. So we have to reclaim land and by putting more soil, more sand into these uh, certain parts and extending the country, right? Then you, you are doing geography, right? Then you. No, it. Uh, Harley, you are doing geog geography? I thought it's No, I'm not doing geography. You are doing huh? history, right? History. Yeah, I'm doing history. Wait, wait, wait. But we, uh, nobody taking geography here. I think Zachary is taking uh, geography, right? I'm not sure about him, but Jeff Dawson. Yeah. Can you see, uh, if Singapore will start to reclaim land, of course, the land will get bigger and wider, right? But don't forget, no, they got this international water line restrictions. Uh, if you cannot just yet, 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 then you overshot to Malaysia, Indonesia, that means you are taking over territory, right? That's like tell you, you are stay, stay in a landed property. Then, you know, there's this empty space. Okay, you, you buy, you buy. Then after your things, uh, your tree, uh, your apple tree, your durian tree, uh, or whatever tree, the branches go the other side of the house. So how? The fruits... They take or you take. They can say because your branches is overshot my house really. So that is anything that's above the fence but, is mine. How? But honestly, for that case, I'm not really sure. But I mean, usually if that really does happen to me, I don't mind them taking just share. Lah. But then in the actual sense, I feel like it will be kind of, it sees where you plant it. Lah. If you plant it at the direct corner, yeah. like very near the border, then it's your fault. But if you plant it like somewhere open that's not near, but then the, the thing grows into their land, then you can't you can't prevent it from growing. Like you can't like how do I say you can't prevent how it grows. So obviously same, that one is not your fault. Same thing, lah, sir. Imagine your aeroplane, you know the fighter jet, right? Sometimes they, they overflow to the other airspace. Just like for example, the China might overflow to Taiwan or Taiwan overflow to China. How? Then you are uh, you are, you are intruding my privacy. Like, hello, excuse me, why are you flying here? What is the purpose? They are chain, they are spies. Uh. I mean, yeah, then, then that one is kind of the, the flag. Yeah. Yeah, so. so how you draw the line, correct? Uh? That's where geography comes in now. Uh. The, the longitude, latitude, and the bearings. All right, so let's talk about this one here. Okay, so I feel that um, uh, the global warming start to do with the way that... The, I, I will strongly feel that air pollutions is 
a, a really a bad to environments that cause global warming. Okay, anyone? Ipo, is still in the toilet? Uh? Yes, sir. Wow, he's, I, I think tonight you put the plate there. <laughs> so I'm going for third round. Nine. Hey, no, la, I think it's not right. <laughs> I, to, to, I feel to, so uh, bad for his stomach right now. Yeah, I, I don't think it's right, la, Ipo. Uh, yeah, I went to see the doctor. They just need, like the doctor say, just like need to remove all the back to back bacteria using this method. <laughs> Well, I think you, your ass going to tear, man. Poor thing. Yeah, you already did. Yeah. Hey, no, you must apply cream, no? <laughs> no, no. Seriously, you must apply apply some cream or you maybe you can apply some uh, powder. Like a fen, ah. Chong yang like a fen, doma, the powder. Okay, prickery uh, yes. heat. You know, you must put the prickery heat. Ah. Even very cooling. But I tell you, you will cold until your ass will be, oh my God. So I did some cream. Cream because you prevent the tearing of the tissues. Ah. Very important. All right. Uh, let's move on. So later we can come back up uh, because I got a lot of things to share with you today. Uh. Next is about this uh number three. I move, I move it down to the next slide first. Now, uh, what is number three questions? How global warming has the cause and effect to a country and society? Well, very obvious. If global warming would be affecting one country, that means they will destroy their crops, they will destroy their environments, definitely. They, they will definitely destroy the health of the citizen. I think before the Olympics in China. Uh, China's in Beijing, and I think Beijing, right, uh, will have a very bad air pollution because of the Gobi Desert, as well as a lot of traffic and cars and vehicles on the road, and cause the amount of the pumping up of the, all the carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide to create the whole environment so unhealthy and and unkind to the people in the um in the resident and citizen in Beijing, right. So that is one reason that because of global warming. It's a change effect that will uh, result in many areas to come in. So how are we going to prevent it? First of all, we have high taxes of this uh, uh, gasoline or petrol. Second, the taxes of a car. But no matter how taxed you are, people will still can afford to buy a car. But those who cannot afford then okay, then they'll take public transport. But you know, the only things that the car is good, uh, I think, I tell you, honey and uh, people, is convenience. Okay, it's, it's all about convenience, to be honest. It's nothing else. I, I feel that it's convenience. Um, a car is a liberty, okay, to be honest. It doesn't make sense. Okay? Right, thank you. Is it too big now? Make it smaller. Okay, that's much better. Okay, uh, th uh this uh, honey, after reading, all right, all types of global warming are bad for the environment, no matter what is the cause. Temperature rise of the earth. Uh... It should be Wait, the temperature no, rises. No, that, 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 that's some grammatical error here. Never mind, no I know. Metal, global warming has no cure, but we can definitely slow down global warming by adopting a more environmental friendly lifestyle. We can all do our part to prevent global warming to make Earth a better place. Uh, it's nothing wrong to that you say this. Uh, hold on. Uh, but we can definitely slow down. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, global warming has no cure. Uh, I would use this word. I would say at this moment, there is no solution for global warming. Instead of putting has no cure. Get it? It's a bit oh. singlish. Yeah, it's a bit singlish. It's a bit, a bit like, I don't care. Uh, sorry, no cure. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, sorry, no cure. You know that, that kind of no cure? What cure? Global warming is not a human being. Eh. How to cure? <laughs> you become... Yeah, personification, you're personifying global warming, okay? So you rather stay in this way. Uh, at this moment, there is not a quick and uh, fixed 
uh, uh, quick fix rule or quick fix solutions to help to reduce global warming. Nevertheless, uh, scientists are looking into different methods and different ways to slow down the global warming. Ah, this is beautiful. Yes, can you open? Yeah, no, I think Petro spelled wrongly. But okay. All yeah, types yeah. of global warming are bad for the, to the environment. One example is burning fossil fuel just for petrol, for us humans to drive our car or motorcycle. Another example is the pollution of air caused by factories and the amount of car on the road. This will cause the air we breathe in to be polluted. So, okay. Um, so at the end. Yes. I, I think like at the end I can add like and cause some health issue. Hey, where am I typing? Okay, yeah, thank you. Yipo, your turn. If you can. I am almost done. Okay, thank you. Remember to save it, uh, put somewhere, okay? So this is true also uh, by reflecting that the pollution itself, uh, in fact, all types of pollution, you're right, no? You're, that, that's the reason why, I, now you understand, I put global warming instead of pollution. So I just want to see my student how intelligent and creative and a genius you are by putting certain pollution, but uh, very genius of you, uh, can you? You put all types of global warming. Then, yeah, I try. I follow Han Ling. Yeah, I was about to say that Han Ling, not say you follow or not. Uh, I was about to say Han Ling also said all types of global warming. Han, Han Ling inspired me. Uh, well, same. Heavy uh, inspiration. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just realized that both of you, the sentences, first one is called Pegorism, uh, copycat. Hey, no, 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 it's inspired. It's no, 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 Pegorism. It's taking no, no. heavy inspiration, you know. Hey, Tianyu, you, you should put this. Instead of the copy, the, um, um, copy exactly the same of Tianyu. Uh, uh, to be honest, I, I was writing like, I was writing some example of global warming. So I only changed the sum example to all type. That's it. Okay, the like first sentence, uh, all types of global warming, they are back to the environment. You can rephrase it now. Okay, in order to make the environments well, these types of global warmings must be stopped. Get it up, change it. You know, it's not you. So um, in order to make the environments to be, to have a better place for all human beings, I strongly believe that all types of global warming should be stopped. Ah, that's it. So we have copy, or we rephrase. Inspired. Uh, yeah, inspired by Han Ling, so I rephrase it. It's correct now. I think copy no. I, I put in for the environment purpose for that for the sake of environment, the go all types of global warming must be eradicated. I better I got better uh, vocab than handling. <laughs> okay, just kidding, ah. Uh. No, it's good that today you see now that's the what we want to see in twenty twenty three, right? Ebo, this where instead of. Sending me to homework, I mark, 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 I do it, then it just go through. But now, honey, and tell you, you agree now. By typing this on straight away, you learn, right? I said, oh, I can rephrase it. So when next year you're doing homework, right, you you, you, you got no chance to, to complete, then you take your friends, now I tell. Rephrase it. Rephrase it, okay? I'm not asking you to tell Peter the Kung huh? Okay, I just ask you, you get some ideas. Uh, you are being inspired by your friends. So you rephrase. Oh my God, seriously. Okay, okay. This is the next question. That we hold on to these questions. Okay, uh, uh, Ipo, if you are done, just let me know because I will not be able to see the next screen because I need to talk about this. Huh? Language. So what is language definitions? According to the linguists, there are several characteristics that a communication system must have to be considered a language. Okay, can you correct me if I'm wrong? You are taking the teacher, right? Oh, this one, I tell you, bro, this one confirmed very, very important to you, uh, brother. Okay, you better pay attention. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay, okay. I am done. Oh, okay, okay. Since uh, Yipo has completed, so we shall go oh. through with Yipo 1. Uh, Tomaya. 
Rural and uh, Messi. Huh? I don't know nothing. What Messi? No, I say Boro essay. Boro the essay, huh? Which essay? No, what he said is like very long. That's why I just use it and say it's like he wrote an essay. Oh, that's the only that's the say that it's very long. Ibo, this is uh, the introduction, huh? not the whole essay. Huh? Okay, carry on. <laughs> if you want to go JC, Ibo, if you want to go JC, this is something like a JC introduction talk. GP, general paper. Now, carry on. Reduction and pursuit of action is one of the leading factors of global warming. Since the dawn of time, humans were blessed with a sense of curiosity and a certain favoritism to newer things. Applying this into the current society and era, this transfer to the pursuit of newer, um, technologically more advanced electronic devices and more visibly appealing clothings. This production of these items requires a huge amount of electricity, which is produced alongside of greenhouse gases. Together with that, people tend to throw away the no longer leader items, which are then promptly burnt, creating additional amounts of greenhouse gases. If we were to simply stop being so wasteful, a big part of global warming would thus be halted. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really amazed by what you have written here, because it is true that the amount of uh, clothes that we wear, the amount of things that we, we have been using, and, and yet, uh, we did not do anything just to protect the environment. And in fact, we are creating more, more tough things to people. Right? Agree now? Wait, give me a minute. Huh? Something, something, something. Wait, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Okay. Now, what we have here is that uh, Ipo was talking about um, we are bringing the past, the present, and the futures of what global warming has a, a, a kind of a, a timeline effect. No? So the moment when cavemen start to use fire, oh, honey, he already created pollution. True now. <laughs> when men start to... Pull, wait, that's true. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold up. That's yeah. true. When my guy lit a fire, he didn't think that the ozone layer would get destroyed. No, Halei, the first time when he started the fire, whoo, 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 whoo. <laughs> then can you imagine that uh, Halei, you and I take the time machine, go to visit, uh, whoo, 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 whoo. Hello, excuse me, speak English, please. Ah, uh, hello, whoo, 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 ah, ah, what? Dance, ah, uh. uh, you, hello, hello, English, ah, uh, English, speak English. Or oh, you speak other French, German, whoo, 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 whoo. Then the, the caveman, uh, maybe took the time machine to outside, say the caveman, the other caveman, please say, Caveman A say that he finally finally discovered about fire and how to cook meat using fire. Then Honey say, bro, do you know that your friend stick cook Caveman A has just created pollution? <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, Honey, why you're not laughing? At? So sad. I found the last part where you said that it was that I wasn't laughing funnier than what you just said. It's true, right? The moment when cavemen start to, to make fire, they already started pollution already. <laughs> so, is it a good thing or bad thing? <laughs> hey, do you know the uh, uh, about few thousand years or million of years, uh, apples already created. When God gave apples to Adam and Eve, and they break down, <laughs> the apple got virus. Because after uh, Adam eat the apples, it become, uh, they know that they are naked. So the apples of knowledge. <laughs> Just a joke, just a joke. Knowledge indeed. Uh, the first apple was discovered through Adam and Eve. <laughs> That's a good one. Huh? The first bite that crashed. <laughs> the first bite, bite. B-I-T-E, uh, uh, Daniel. Not the B-Y-T-E, uh, the bites. Uh, not the one mega bites. Uh. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, no ladies, uh, sorry. Thank you so much for your this explanation. Now, let's go for this one. Uh. This one is very important if you are doing the teacher. Okay, don't joke. Uh. Please pay attention on this one. It's going to be very dry, uh, to be honest, very, very dry. But then you tell me, why do I need to learn this? Okay, I'll give you an example. Uh, uh, I want you to read this three. Go. Wait, it, it's a bit small, my screen. Oh, oh, okay, okay, I can see I'll it make it bigger. I can see it now. Is um, it better? Yeah, it's a lot better. Okay, hold on. Uh, I move out again so that you can look at the three. Uh, because, uh, can you, uh, you have to pay attention to this three thing. Uh, ready? 
a, a arbitrariness. There is no necessary or inherent inherent relationship between a word and the real thing it describes. For example, oh, sorry. For instance, nothing about the word chicken is inherently linked to the bird it conveys. Learning the understanding of the meaning relationship must transpire. So okay, here. So Wait, uh, I'm going to use example, uh, Tell you and Ebo and Zach, you pay attention. Uh. So uh, now I play along with you, honey. Don't mind. Uh. This is just only for, for illustrations and example, not knowing, no, no insult. Uh. Hey, honey, I thought your friends are very brave. Eh? Why they chicken out? Uh? Then honey, oh, excuse me, Uncle Raymond, they never overnight turn to become a chicken. They are still human. Uh. No, la, that's why arbitrariness, right? That's not very clear what the words. So, Haling, when I talk to you about why your friend chicken out, uh, when we are supposed to go and play uh, football against the, the Argentina team, so what does this chicken out mean? Like, just leave out of fear? No, you see, there is no necessary inheritance relationship between the word chicken and football, right? True now. Right? Can you? Nothing to do, right? Then we saw the whole thing, you can all of you, if you're interested, please reply. No, is it? it it's like it, it doesn't it just like, describe arb yeah, arbitrariness. Describe Ar arbitrariness. Yeah. Uh, can you what you want to say? Yeah, something like what he just said is like is to use like use it to describe the, the situation or something like what you want to describe him like. Yeah. Why don't you say uh, cow, horse, dog, pig? Cause uh, cause chicken always run away. As if other animals don't run away, bloody hell, what talking you? Not like. <laughs> Very funny, eh? you're so cute. Eh? Can you, you say. Churchill made me start thinking about what I said again. Uh, Wait, shall, I, shall I say again? Say again. You say chicken run away, as if other, other animals don't run away. Like. Very funny. Eh? No, 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 no. Church, say, say, say the phrase again. Chicken. Ah? Yeah, no, like. Okay, okay. Hey, honey, Honey, I thought uh, your friends are supposed to join us to play football with the Argentina Championship, but now they chicken out. No? What's wrong with them? Uh? So disappointed. Eh? So how? Why is the chicken out? I honestly don't know. Is it, is it because... Yeah, I like... Afraid. Afraid? Okay. Uh, I'm not hey. looking at that. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, it's like soft taunt. Font? And like describing. Ah, okay. Can you chicken up means coward. Okay. And, yeah, uh -huh. I know. Uh, coward. So that means they are uh, not just frightened of evil. They are coward. They 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 are fear of uh, failures. They know that they will not win the team, so they are coward. They don't even bother to, to give it a go. They don't even bother to give their best and then they already surrender. So that's called chicken. So arbitrariness, arbitrariness is something like this. Okay. Okay, next. Understand, huh? So sometimes when you see the teachers putting this one, uh, it might be a bit vague. You're not sure what is he talking about. The arbitrary is talking about, okay, this is something that may not be related to the situation, but the author bringing in is to make sure that it looks more interesting and more vibrant. All right. So next one. Can you, your turn. So, sociality. So, no, no, uh, Han Ling, it's Han Ling, sorry. Han Ling, uh, it's supposed to read all the three. Sociality, communicate with other individuals requires language. It is ultimately a social process rather than an individual one. So how do we know that this sentence is related to a social process? Very simple. If someone were to say, uh, Han Ling, uh, shall we have high tea later in the afternoon while our wife are uh, going shopping? So are we okay for that particular um, breakaway time? So you might say this is like they want. What does the author means by this? So social sociality means that you are. Are you able to not just social? Uh, are you able to break away from the hectic time to spend some time relax and then talk about things that is not related to work? That's example here. Yeah? But here it says social process means that in a in a literature. Um, can I? Uh, do you all know about Harry Potter? Everyone know about Harry Potter. Uh? Okay, so uh, have you watched the Encanto? Yeah, we don't talk about Bruno though. Ah, uh, Bruno, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, I, I, I didn't watch uh, Encanto. Uh, they cannot use the example already. Uh, what movie you watch? Uh? I don't watch movies. Endgame. Endgame, ah? Uh? Hey, you, wait, hey, didn't you watch Endgame? Uh? No, I don't watch Endgame. 
to watch Hitler uh, youth tracks. Then very hard to relate. Let me let me look for another example. Uh, okay. Do you watch the the one uh, Avent- Avengers, the last episode? The end game. Uh. The, oh, that's the end game. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's end game. Okay, sorry, sorry. I thought the other one. I thought it's a Hunger game. Suddenly, my my memory. Hunger being sure that I think that's a separate show. Yeah, yeah, correct. That's why my mic got not. Yeah, that is totally separate. D- different spelling as well. So the end game itself, how at the end of the, the things, right, there, there's certain parts where they gather together. Okay, they want to find a solution to attack Thanos, is it? To kill Thanos, right? I can't remember. Actually, to be honest, I don't think there was any because my, my guy just summoned like a whole army. Yeah, like, correct. Correct. So there's something like that, no? It's, a, so, uh, it's like that everyone come together to have a main cause to how to kill that fella. Next, symbolism. Symbolism. Honey. Sa- symbolism, sound. So in the case of sign languages, actions have meaning and therefore symbolize real objects and concepts. The language must have meaning. Do you know sometimes in your co- comprehension passage or even in your literature books, Sometimes the author might be using sign language or sometimes the author might be using certain symbols to represent some things. And symbol and sign language are actually quite important to in real life because if you are like, you know, the airplanes when they take off from the aircraft carrier, they have sign language. Okay, they even have symbol to indicate something. So all this uh, is very useful in language because if we are talking about uh, a literature books, sometimes or in a comprehension passage, sometimes you might have, or you want to write a story about this. Uh, okay, what is this? What do you infer for this? Can you? What is this? Epo, what is this? Can we, uh, two. Two, huh? It can be peace, right? And what about this? This is okay, right? Okay, or yeah. three. And what about this? High five. High five, or I, I can say hot, stop, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Correct? So you see the symbol itself, if you misinterpret the language, then the whole entire thing is wrong. Yeah, but okay, okay. I have a, I have a really, I have a more controversial question. So wow. if like, you have a lot of signs, wait, why would you dictate a certain sign as a certain thing? Yes. Like uh, because, in other good countries. Question. Super good question. Because in other countries, religion, you do something in it. Yeah, that's, in other countries, maybe a thumbs up could mean something bad. Maybe shaking your head could mean yes, I don't know. Just why, like, why would you indicate that there will be a universal term for any symbol? The, the only one universal sign language is the middle finger. Lah. Okay, the middle <laughs> finger will tell you it's the FO, right? <laughs> uh, but not everyone take it as it is as a vulgarity. Do you know that? Maybe their yeah. last finger is like a vulgarity to their countries. Maybe the thumbs up to them is not good. It might be other things. It might be a, this sign might be an okay sign to them, correct? So as we know, right, Yipo, um, you're there. Huh? So as, as far as concerned that uh, you can show me your thumbs up is a symbol. Huh? Okay, so what, what happened is that these symbols is an indication to say that um, you are able to carry out the, the next actions through this sign language, through these um, uh, symbols. Okay, so it might be ne- your next action to carry out might be either you stop to carry out or proceed or things or backfire or move backwards, all right? Okay, next, uh, may I have, uh, Ipo, are you able to read the next two? Yes. Yeah, carry on. Yes. Each speaker must agree upon the rules of language for mutual comprehension. <laughs> Systematic city. This one, this one. Oh, elements of language must be organized into a system that it is impossible that ah uh, that it is possible to learn and describe. So systematic city means that language must use uh continue be careful uh. I think you better start reading your have you bought your literature book already? Please start reading it uh. So systematically mm-hmm. I mean uh, is your literature textbook or chapter one two three and four? Uh? May, may give me give me like a minute to yeah because of that you cannot read the your this book you start from chapter five you cannot say you start from chapter nine you cannot start reading from the last chapter you will spoil the system structures you get what I'm saying uh, uh, Daniel so just like in the comprehension right Ibo 
I'm not sure if there's any chapter one, two, three, and five. I think it's just like take a picture. Take a picture. picture. Never mind. Don't waste time. Take a picture. I can't see lah. Later, you just take a picture on the content page. Okay. Thank you. Oh no, no hurry. Okay. No, uh, Ipo, you realize that uh, in a comprehension passage, you have to start to read the introduction. You don't read the conclusion, right? No, you have been doing so many exam from set one until set three. Yeah, so many exam and tests. You should know, right? A comprehension passage always starts from introduction and follow. That's called systematical approach. Next, uh, uh, Ipo. Continue to read, right? Yes. Uh, fifth. Physiology. Physiological. Physio uh, physiological. Physiological mechanism. mechanisms. Speech or sign primarily produce language rather than written mechanic mechanisms. The other word, a writing system is not necessary for a communication system to be a language. So does this help in your literature, Tian Yu? Yes, there is. Because this physiological mechanism speech. So imagine this guy is a starter or this guy is uh, uh, got, um, not able to speak. And then the author want to make this, uh, to see that how difficult he is to speak. He might use certain adjective, he might use certain words, he might use certain phrase or even free spot to describe how his condition is, to show the excruciating or, or suffering or catastrophe. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure about you. I hate to use this example. Romeo and Juliet uh, is one uh, is good example for that. Uh, okay. In the last part of it, the story. Now, uh, back to you. May I have 10 years of the last two days? Con convectionality. Its speaker must agree upon the rules of language for mutual comprehensibility languages comprehensibility uh, seven syllables uh. Uh, it's speakers must agree uh can you don't rush imagine uh, next two years you're already you should do this uh, every three words it's speaker must agree upon the rules of language for mutual comprehensibility languages must have convention okay, okay read like that one more time please thank you it's speaker must agree upon the rules of language for mutual comprehensibility. Language must have convictions. Yeah, yeah, it sounds a bit weird. But once you get used to it, you, you'll be different already. You don't if speaker must agree, then you will not get to the CRT. So, that's why the child 15 words help you. Get it up. Three, three words. All right, so conventionalities is not um, not that easy. Yeah? Something that, uh, for example, in a, I'll use a literature, uh, then you don't mind. Okay, of your, some of you may not, or uh, even convention. This, this thing is very different. When you are talking about conventionalities, that when someone set a rule to talk to something, that, for example, this book, I say, the father is a head of the family, and he set certain regulation or curfew, and then he's used certain words, very harsh words on it, on that the children, the children must either either accept it or not accept it or really run away from home. So through this these languages that the body posture, the gesture of the father and the way <laughs> and the way he speaks plays a, a different uh weight on it. Okay, so you have to check. So I mean sorry, uh you have to look into this um may not be honestly use it often but just to share with you these are all part of the languages. Last but not least. Productivity. Also called combin, combin, combinability. Combinability. Refers to how the combination of uterus. Alterations. Alterus can produce meaningful statement about any conceivable. Conceivable. Conceivable topic. A communication system that can only discuss a limited number of topics is not a language. Okay, this one, uh, it's not just for literature, it can be anything. So when you are producing an essay, when you're reading a comprehension passage, when you're reading a literature book, or when you're writing a situation writing, the productivity is very important to make sure that 
you are using your free spot, your vocab words, your sentence structures, English, all these must make into place. That's what you can. Yipo, can I can you turn on the camera? Are you still in the panel? Which I forgot to like I just need to do this. Huh? <laughs> uh, you don't know. I think in the home can you enjoy how bad that's young. I got spy camera in your house. Oh, hey, seriously, look behind. Oh my god, you know, it's look at two. Sure, oh, this is recording. Oh, two Ipo. Oh my god, scary man. Can you? Oh, sorry, honey, your turn. Sorry, your turn. These criteria are all essential in every existing language. Because of the complex characteristics of language, no species besides humans can learn and produce language fluently as far as anybody knows. Animals do have communication systems, of course, but they do not have language. For example, vervet monkeys allow alarm calls when they think danger is near. While this is certainly communication, it is not language because the calls cannot produce additional meanings. Yeah, yeah. But you see, the monkey might using signal. Uh, the monkey might be doing waving and using the kind of uh, a, a sound or a screening sound to distract or to attract or to whatever. In the animal kingdom, they have their ways to, to communicate. Whether using their body, using their, their uh, like for birds doing this, or for some animal showing off their teeth. You know, tiger, the first thing, aggressiveness is to show their teeth. Meaning that they're anytime they're going to pounce and attack you. Yeah, you better run for your life, that kind of sound. But then again, you have to understand, language is so complex that even I think, even the professor in English, sometimes they, he or she might encounter certain difficulties. So like, for example, like uh, Ipo, if I were to say, hey, Ipo, don't mind a joke, uh. Ipo, you're good for nothing. Eh. Honey, what are you good at? Uh? It seems like you are good for nothing. Can you? Why are you good at? If this also cannot, that cannot. You're really good for nothing. This good for nothing means negative to my heart in Can you and Ibo, right? But then imagine some, let's say your son, that person will say to, to you, maybe might be very sarcastic or jealous of you or, or purposely want to say that in front of your son. Then your son might be mistaken. Hey, why this uncle is or this auntie is saying that to my father? Okay, so that is what you mean. Okay, the words itself. Many meanings. Like, Ipo, if this lady comes and tell you, Ipo, you're so bad, ma, never come and see me. Tao Yan, Sukui, ni hanchi mena kan wa liya. He's like, oh, bad? <laughs> Ipo, I think I'm going to go to the toilet with you. <laughs> okay, so like, you got me now. Have you all heard of this? Uh, Thank you, uh, Han Ning and uh, Zachary and Ipo. Have you heard of this? Uh? Hey, don't play, play, leh. Have you heard of this? Uh? Don't play, play. Uh. Yeah, definitely. Uh, in Chinese, it's Apia eh, one eh. Uh, mm -hmm. So this is we, you know, if you tell the, the, the English people, uh, the British, the Westerner, hey, Mr. Thomason, don't play, play, okay? The first thing, what, what, what team you want to play? Manchester United or Man City or Arsenal or Hotspur or Liverpool? All right now. Uh. So their language, you see, sometimes, uh, if you are, you, are, you, are, you know, you know this uh, Mr. B9, the, the guy, uh, he's a British guy. Uh. Can you imagine uh, if you go to U United Kingdom, England, and they crack some jokes there? You may not understand, right, Ibo? Because that is their language, right? right? And maybe their language is related to their culture, to their, their values, right? Imagine they come to Singapore, you do this, uh, but then, then you're like, sorry, what then? Then what? But your uh, but then is, uh, of course, correct now. You agree? But they will speak in the different language. Now, now you understand what I mean, huh? Okay, let's move on. Language, okay, universal and universal grammar. Please read these are uh, very important rules. Uh, please. Okay, especially for those of you going set three, please, very important rule because your teacher will be pretty new to you. The first one month is really to understand you how good you are to a test. All right, this is the one. Okay, uh, in my previous school, they like to do all this. Uh, Ibo. Please read to the class, all languages. Ibo, can you read that, Ibo? Yes, I can. Yes, all languages. All languages have vowels, consonants, and rules that govern pronunciation. All languages have stress and tone. All languages have nouns and verbs and ways to express descriptors such as size or color. All languages have notion. 
ways of talking about extract things and functions, way to communicate in a certain way, such as a plural, ah, uh, um, such as apologize. Ah, ah. Oh, oi, uh, oi. oh my God. I am Come dying. On. Apologizing. Apologizing, persuading. All language have a way to pose questions, give comment, and make statements. I think from primary one until now, you should know all these are importance. Especially number two, uh, stress and tone. So uh, we say, over there, please come here. Take a look at this beautiful creature. So the tone and the stress of certain words is to emphasize that you must focus the subject or the object. You must focus the word that makes you looks different because this is how it works. This is how language works. Right? You see, it's a bit different, right? You get what I'm saying? Huh? Okay, I'm talking to Zachary, say he may not be able to come in. So anyway, Zachary, if you are listening, so these are all the very important things. Uh, English language is such a, a, a amazing thing, not like compared in Chinese. Uh, 一波, 昨天我去吃饭, 今天我也是去, 明天我去, 我去吃饭, you don't say, 昨天我去吃饭, 明天我要去吃饭, Correct now. Yesterday I ate, today I eat, tomorrow I'm going to eat thing. But... Then you say, how come uh, English is so complicated? You have to put the ED and ING. This is because different country, different religions, different race, or different whatever things, they have different set of ways doing things. That's all. There's nothing against anybody. It, this is how a language works. Like in, in, uh, in Japanese, they always have a full stop or a question mark. Tabe mas ka? Tabe mas des. The death is like I've eaten full stop. How are you? So from the tone, like honey, you can know like hey, hey uh, honey, how are you? So in, in, in the Japanese, say, honey, okay, ki desu ka? The desu ka means a question mark. So once I say desu ka, honey, you will reply, okay, ki desu. Say, I am fine. Watashi wa o genki desu. So I am fine, full stop. Can you do that in English? Can you? How are you? Question mark. Can you say, I am fine, full stop? Very funny, right? <laughs> Ipo, like that. So Ipo is saying, Ipo, how is your stomach? Question mark. Then Ipo say, my stomach pain like shit. Full stop. <laughs> He's like, huh? Very funny, right? You don't talk like that, correct? But the Japanese have to talk like that. You get my idea? Right, so this is the culture. Like, okay, I'm so sorry. Yeah. It might sound a bit, oh, are you sure? Yes, that's how it works. You take many, many times and many, many years and many, many experience to do this, how to learn language, come. This one will cover you all the way down. Okay, how to learn a new language, make new friends. Okay, I start with number one, then the rest you read. Huh? Okay, I'll let you rest for a while first. First way, okay, look at how, how to learn a new language. I pay attention, there are total 10 different types of ways to make to, to learn a new language, make new friends. So next year, uh, for the two of you, King Yu and Han Ling, you are making new friends, definitely half of your class will be for another class. So if there's a community of people who speak the language you want to learn in your city, start attending events. And this is how you will improve, like watching the movie, Netflix, or things like that. Friendship is one of the best ways to learn a foreign language and the easier ways to get comfortable with the slang, intonations, and mannerisms. You can casually chat with your friends in local cafes, bars, and restaurants, and slowly build the foundations on the language you want to learn. The great part about making friends who already speak the language or are learning right along with you. Well, this one is the best. If you want to learn a language that is a Japanese or French or German or whatever or Malay, that's the best because you can tear toward the Okay? Okay? Uh, makan, suda, or tade, correct? Or? Have you eaten something like that? Right? That's very important. Is that you is that you will be able to practice freely without feeling self-conscious on, on the spot. You won't feel embarrassed, like, in other words. Okay, that you, because you're, you know that you're learning a new language and your friend is also learning, so you make a, a big joke for fun. Okay, fine, but not. Okay, number two, then you. Copy and elementary, elementary school kids. Remember Pen Pal? 
just because you are an adult now doesn't mean you can't partake. Find an international pen pal and trade language expertise and knowledge. Edit each other's letter, keeping what you both or originally wrote. So, so you can see the correct format and spelling. You will help each other learn. Your skills for writing in a foreign language will increase tenfold. And you may even have someone to visit abroad when you are ready to put those skills to use. Exactly. You see, sometimes we have to, uh, this is what you continue, learn, relearn, and unlearn. Seriously, sometimes you learn the way, oh my goodness. Honestly, Uncle Raymond, all this year, the past five years, six years, I'm learning in a different way. I'm learning in the wrong manner. But finally, I find a new method to learn. I think uh, Han Ling and Tian Yu, Ibo and Ma uh, Zachary, you will understand for math. So, agree with Han Ling. Teacher A might teach you this method. Teacher B might teach you this method. Then later, when your fusion teacher teaches you another method, you say, oh my God, I, do, I, I was so amazed that my tuition teachers have, have a better way to teach. I mean, sorry, I won't say the school teachers are no good. Huh? Okay, I will say some, I say some of the teachers also no good. In terms of not able to teach, not saying they cannot teach, huh? not able to have enough knowledge to teach. No. But they may have this way of teaching because it's their style. They believe that this style, by teaching it, will help you. But different right hand, they correct now. Because you don't like the style, but she forced you to use the style, that is wrong. My goodness, that's too much. La. Slap you, I tell you. <laughs> Not you, ah. I, I slap you. Hey, the most important thing is that I get a grade, right? If I don't look at the answer, I can. I don't understand, ah, honey. I don't know about you. Ah. When I was young, ah, my teacher said, you must follow this method. Then later, I discovered a new method. You know what I said? she said to me? Why you use this method? Ah? Child, you, child, my method? child, you basically just explain math. Yeah, correct. So I hate math as a reason, you see. But finally, uh, when I go to set one, set three, um, uh, set four, uh, my math teacher changed me, no. Ibo, uh, you know, Ibo, you have to understand that uh, during my generation, which is uh, around your age, uh, the teachers are king. Uh, they can take a lula and hit your head one. Uh. I'm serious. They can slap you. They can twist your ear. They can pull your this one. They can pull your hair. Can you don't mind? Uh, sorry, uh, Imagine uh, your math don't do well. If your teacher's going to slap your face and then uh, like, your teacher going to take a ruler and hit your hand because you're you a poor handwriting, any poor, even pull your hair, what will you do? Uh? Let's say, let's say, what will you do? Of course, don't report to parents first. Uh. Tell you, what will you do? Uh, it depends honestly, on the situation. Uh, honest opinion, uh, or honest opinion, okay? Yes. Depends on the situation, but if it's like something... Oh, no, no situation. I... The moment he just slap you, that's all. He said, your, your, your man's so lousy. I told you so many times, always careless, then slap you. I will honestly be pissed, but I definitely would fight back, but you know, I don't think school will allow, so yeah. No, 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 yeah. the teacher uh, slapped you already. What yeah. would you do? You just let him slap? Yeah, I mean, he slapped you already, so I'm probably going to slap him back. Take a chair and whack him la. Yeah. Seriously, yeah? Huh? Would you take a chair and whack him? No, I probably just... Yes. Honestly, I'll, I'll, I'll ask him why. What do you mean? Like, what Just did shut I do? up and sit down. I slap you because you're careless. Sit down and don't argue with me. Uh huh. That's the uh, language you use. I'll, I'll, I'll just like not, not care much. I'll just say, okay, fine. Then just go sit. Huh? Then you let the matters die off. Yeah. Huh? I mean, obviously, I'll tell my parents. Okay. But oh, even though I, I have a hundred, I have like a 99.9% .9 chance that my mom will say, Nah, nah, it's fine. Plus, you I you actually did something wrong. So yeah, for not knowing your math. Oh, sorry uh. I think the Singaporeans' parents uh, will not do that uh. If someone were to snap my son, especially the teachers uh, I'll call all my friends to go down and see him. <laughs> I'll call, call your whole entire gang. <laughs> okay, Yi What about yeah, you? It's just different parents, different parents. You yes, know? parenting's are. Uh, agree, parenting. agree, agree. Yeah, agree. Totally agree with you, you. Uh, Yi what will you do? If the, the teacher pull your hair and then say, uh, in front of the class, there. Eh? How yeah, will you? First of all, my hair isn't that long, so. Oh, you pull it, then a few strands of hair came up. Oh, my goodness. How? 
快点，怎么办？ Oh, during that time is probably legal, honestly. You don't like, like, you, like you, you have to see like, uh, what's that called? Like what you did wrong that resulted in him pulling the hair. No matter what you, you did read... wrong, no matter what you did wrong, does he has the right to pull your hair? No? I think during that time is legal. No, no. Let's say now. I'm talking about now. Now. Ah, uh, no. no then, then, then it's illegal. Illegal, huh? Then okay. you can call the police. Okay. How about you, honey? Imagine you took your hair and throw away your spec, and then you know you you go and twist your ear and scold you because or you honestly, a, honestly, you um, if it was back in the day and it was already a usual thing, I wouldn't think too much of it. But no, like no, it, no. if. If it was just now, it would definitely, I would definitely get really, really agitated, though. Not just all. That's all. Yeah. That's all. Yeah, that's all. That that's actually all. Oh, you are so kind, so damn kind. No, I think uh, if any teacher were to do that, uh, it's abusive, abuse, abusing his power as a teacher. To me, he doesn't be fit to be an educator. Because I live out to that kind of environment, but there are some teachers who don't use this kind of method to teach the student. Agree now, right? That is not the way. Okay. Uh, the only time that you get beaten is only from your parents. Agree. Fair enough. The your parents have the right, by all means, to to beat you up. Whatever, maybe of course they when they beat you up, you are something wrong, lah. Right. So children. If this touch, will, I know this will not happen to y'all lah. Just to, if this happens, first thing is you walk out from the classroom. Okay, walk out from the classroom, go to the office and report the case. You know why? Tell you because when the teacher slap you out, you got the mark on your face really right. All right, then you walk to the school and walk to the class, uh, office and Report for assault. Yes. And then take a picture. I'm and after, serious. and after, bring it to court, uh, the court. And then after, get sue him and then her, sue the yes. teacher. And then get I'm so sorry, uh, that's live. Uh. Okay. Okay. Next number three. Uh, Ipo. Number three, watch a movie. For the people who want to take advantage of one of the best ways to learn a new language from the comfort of their own home. Put on a foreign movie in another language without subtitles if you can. Not only is it one of the best ways to learn a foreign language, you also get a great sense of the language culture as well. If you don't know enough of the language to turn subtitles off, keep a list of new vocabulary words you hear and what you think they mean. Look them up later. Come on, looking up words is fun. Side note, if you feel ready and want to level up your language learning, commit to going out to a theatre and watching a foreign flick in public. <laughs> I like these. Uh, all these are definitely from the website. Uh, not me. Uh, okay, But that is true. Uh, by watching this movie, you learn. Uh, seriously. And in fact, most of the time, my daughter learned Korean through K-drama, K-pop, and things like that, and K-movies. Okay? Look at this one here. Uh, this is a picture, I think. Netflix has done a good job okay, with all kinds of movies. Uh, of course, you have to pay for the licensing and the copyright and, and the reviewing sheet uh, to, to, to access to Netflix or even to Starhub or Singtel, whatever, or even to YouTube. But whatever it is, uh, like anime, I think hardly you like anime, right? Whatever you, you want to watch anime, you still have to understand the subtitle or understand how the, the body posture, gesture, and how the words, the language, yeah. the foreign yeah, that's why That's why there's a subtitle and dub title. Hey, but sometimes, uh, honestly, the subtitle may not, let's see, subtitle. Subtitle uh, might, might not like have the... Uh, exactly that, the same meaning. Uh? Yeah, exactly the same meaning. Correct. But it's close enough, you see? Uh, yep. Uh, like, like, like you know, in uh in China in uh, recently in Singapore they have got this uh local production movie, okay, like in Chinese say, "Hey, don't do that." You see what That is in Mandarin. But you speak in Hokkien, it's a different tone. Anjo de kuan wan kuan. It's like you cannot translate. That is Hokkien, right? Same thing. So this is they they miss the the ingredients, the spiciness of the real language itself. The subtitle is close to it. That's why sometimes you got subtitle you don't laugh. You don't feel funny. But when they say it in their own language, you feel funny, right? Number four, may I have... Wait, I thought subtitles the one where like 
they, they say in their own language and then at the bottom it's just like that's yeah that's why the subtitle the, the words different oh uh, yeah but, yeah or sometimes if you watch a german film uh then they say the germans then they, they translate to english and the subtitle also it doesn't make sense seriously it, 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 it not can i use the word it doesn't coordinate la, and doesn't sing sometimes you feel the, the you, you lost the oh my goodness the essence of the whole movie back to you honey My mic didn't unmute for like three minutes straight. It's okay. Read a menu. Four. Pretend you are at a restaurant. Read a menu in your target language and pick a dish you will order every day. Then look at what it means. The names of your food choices will stick with you. Plus, if you end up choosing something that translates to dog or sheep intestine, you know to steer clear of them when you are abroad unless those are your favorite foods. By the time you head abroad, you have an appetite for both the food and the language for sure. Yes. I can tell you, uh, you can watch this movie, uh, Yibo, uh, uh, you're laughing. There's this Hong Kong movie called Wu Fu Sing. Uh. Okay, Wu Fu Sing, you go to Mexico, eat a restaurant. So they look at the menu all in English or in French. They can't understand. They do this, ready? Look here. <laughs> So he wants to eat chicken. Chicken? Yes, chicken. He eats chicken. Then he takes his foot up. I want a foot, right? Foot. Right? Okay? Then every person just talks. Then he goes to that guy. Who? Who? Chen Zhiwei. You know who Chen Zhiwei is? Very famous actor. Then the four guys say, you don't call the same thing as we all call. Huh? So Chen Zhiwei wants to eat sausage. <laughs> How, how is he going to show? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, don't tell me. New line. New line, very easy. I knew it's like that, right? Ooh, then they do this. You know, the, the milk coming up. <laughs> oh, you want milk. Then they want sausage. They show for a tree. That's the tree, right? Oh, I thought they, I thought they were going to show something else. I'm, I'm having Zoom. I call you later. <laughs> so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Chill, know? chill. Yeah. So what 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 why if they want to they 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 want to eat snake? Oh my goodness! Oh, they they, they do this ah. Uh, <laughs> average 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 uh China but people. Yeah. So sausage huh? They sow the the penis ah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Ja. I thought I thought they're gonna be like uh. I no, want to eat sausage. You are right. <laughs> they ask the waiter to come and, and he, he point to the the his private part. You know what the waiter look at him. Oh, 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 I mean, okay, pointing it, it's better than showing it. No, you uh, should you mean, I think I'm going to put it on the, the, and show it. The waiter say, oh, so small? <laughs> <laughs> you want such a small sausage? <laughs> it's a Wait, joke, why, 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 guys. Why? It's a joke, okay, please. So, um, I've just happened to think of these jokes. All right, number five, may I have you, please? So, language is about or important, or especially you go to... Wait, uh, Especially you go to other countries, you do not know, uh, then you have to use the language. Next. But I'm pretty sure if you're going to travel to other countries, you should at least get yourself like a, a translator. No need. Uh, like, my like you should hire or hire. No need. I mean, it depends on Google. where you go. Google. You can use Google to translate one. Yeah, but Google Translate might not always be the correct one. Better than nothing, right? Yeah, better than nothing, though. No. Correct, correct. But I say if you go out to a different country to a uh, like holiday, then I, I say... No, yeah, you should say this. What happened? Your battery died. You cannot, you cannot have translation possible, ma. Of course, you bring your power bank, la, whatever it is. La. Okay, you guys, have, you, you are all spoiled with choices. La. You are born in the era where you are spoiled with a lot of choices. Back to you, uh, honey. Hey, mommy. Five, seek out, the online, seek out online resources. The internet is truly a magical place. If you're looking for the best ways to learn a foreign language, look no further. You can fall back on all reliable Google Translate, but why not utilize helpful browser extensions like Token? What else can you do to learn a language online? You can connect with other language learners by your online chat groups, watch YouTube videos, and read articles. The internet is ready to help you reach your foreign language learning goals. I know there is this uh, app uh, where a lot of Japanese who want to learn English and they form this chat group in TikTok or Telegram I can't remember, or is it some, some WeChat or what? And, and some of them who want to learn Japanese will go into this group and share their resources. So you see, 
the technology has created a lot of uh, golden opportunities to everyone. It's how are you going to do it? How are you going to leverage on this um, technology? Number six, uh, Ibo. <coughs> Ibo, your turn. <coughs> Ibo, your turn. Thank you. He's looking for the unmute button. <laughs> okay, go. Read lah. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me now? Ibo. His mic is like muting and unmuting. Hello, yeah. hello, hello. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can hear you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you. Don't do it. Don't touch. Don't touch. I feel, I feel like he's lagging. Okay, yeah, well, I was changing the voice system because apparently your 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 said like the microphone was the bad one. I see. Okay, for online languages, for online language courses. Oh. For online language courses, you can check it. Ningodia. I don't know why I said that. Huh? Well, take your language. Uh, doesn't it sound a little familiar to another app? Which oh. one? Oh, I, I think I know. What? Which app? Huh? Which app? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's like Duolingo or something. It takes your family hostage and forces you to learn language. Yeah, yeah, that one, actually it's a me, but that one's also like another uh, language learning app. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, thanks for sharing. I got uh, Lingo app. Uh. Okay. Duolingo. Lingo. But, okay, but, yeah. but, actually, but do beware, he, they will kidnap your family. Oh, serious? No, I'm joking. It's oh, a joke. Yeah. But yeah, by yeah. then, we would like to make fun of it. Lingo Deer will take your language learning to the next level, choosing from Korean, Japanese, Chinese, Spanish, French, and more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Their curricula is built by language teachers, and the app provides a, a building flashcard function. Plus, since mastering a new language requires you to actually speak it, Lingo Deer provides stories for you to read and speak so you can master your skills more quickly. You can also take a crack at italki another language provider that connects you with language teachers online so okay. do you just find this from like a app online no uh yes sort of but uh i just click it okay next one uh Yipo, one more teach yourself the key of the key to this one is a small step of that dedicated research and well obvious well, well, and while obvious, remains one of the best ways to learn a new language. Takes a little bit of time every day to write out a sentence you would like to know how to say in your target language. Look up each word section and try to construct the sentence yourself. If you have a language partner, have them double check your sentence when you meet up. This is a great trick to keep yourself in check. Making small goals to attain every day will keep you moving onward and upward the language learning track. Thank you. Like, like this. You can find a cozy area and sit down seriously. I think it's much better than spending a lot of time to play Genshin. Uh, okay, I know uh, Goran will not be happy. Uh, uh, Hanin will also not be happy. Spending too much time on Genshin, I'd rather you to sit down and chit chat and learn a third language or four language. Of, or another foreign language, okay? I, I'm not saying totally cut down your Genshin. Uh. Okay, say hola, hola to your new friends in the local coffee shops and with your skills. Number eight, can, uh, honey. Break it down. No, we're not talking about break dancing. Is that a Jojo? Sadly, those crazy moves will most likely not help you learn a language. Anything is possible though. Instead, focus on vocabulary for one area or topic each week. For example, transportation of food items. Then move on to another topic the next week. Just like teaching yourself new sentences and passages, this organized route routine will make learning vocab and other important keywords more manageable and you'll begin to be able to group things together. Thank you. Not break down, break down. It's break dance, break down. Number nine, can you? Okay, wait. Listen to the radio. Similar to watching a foreign movie, try listening to a radio station. 
in your ta- target language, either in the car, on a podcast, or online. Try to see how much you can understand. And write down words that you can that you recognize but do not understand to look up. What? But do not understand to look up. It's, it feels like kind of wrong, but okay. Pro tip, usually never. Using listening to the news in a, another language is an incredible and really yes. intense way to start learning vocab and conversational structures fast. Exactly. It's very important, seriously. Okay? L- listening to radio is... This is how I learned my English, I'll tell you. Last time, I'm so poor, I don't have a color TV. I listen to radio. That's how I improve my English, seriously. Two songs. Number 10, last but not least, please. Tell you. Okay, okay. Go on board, about one of the best ways to learn a foreign language is to visit a country that speaks your target language and live with a host of family that doesn't speak your native language. You will be absolutely amazed at how much information you can communicate and how quickly you can pick up a language when you don't have any other option. This full-on immersion style training will have you speaking fluently in months. Honestly, what could be better? You could even learn multiple languages of all if you choose your country right, aka Singapore. I tell you what, seriously, um, going abroad is one of the best ways to learn, seriously. The teacher just disappeared. I'm not sure. No, no, no. no. I'm reading some, uh, I think, sorry. So going sure, abroad is the best man. way, uh, children. You know what? Going abroad, you learn the culture, the way they do. So if you are choosing a foreign language, which language will you want to learn? And next, uh, this is supposed to be a homework. Then what methods, ways of methodology will you want to improve this foreign language? How much efforts, times, and discipline are you going to put in? So this will be your homework, seriously. Yeah? I think, guys, I think your holiday should be slowly dying off uh, and pull out your socks. Okay, now, Ipo, let's be fair, let's be fair. I think you want to enjoy then, for you, uh, Ipo, you enjoy until next year, your last paper you completed. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm making the last of this holiday worth it for my VIA. You understand? Okay. Uh, I'm Wait, reaching, guys. I'm when, when, when next, week, uh, next week and see whether you're free uh, to do an a, a introduction to history and social studies. Okay. Ciao. Ciao. When does school start? Sec, uh, 3rd of January. 3rd. Yes. <laughs> okay, so look through all these questions here. Huh? So we got four questions uh, that we have to do. Uh. One of them is this one. Huh? So we are, we are overflow to next year already. So next year, we're going to do this one here. How global warning. This one we must complete. And then with the rest of the three questions. Okay. So I don't want to take too much of our time. I stop here. We just have good, uh, good one minute to go, and yeah. So, uh, may I take this support golden opportunity to wish you, Zachary, can you, Han Ling, and Ipo a Merry Christmas to you and your family. Enjoy the Christmas festival mood and environment, and Kong Si Fa Sa Ya. Thank you, and I uh, wish you all a happy, wonderful 2023 New Year. All right, I will see you next year. Of course, if you want to see me, uh, in in Willock Place. Uh, come and see me, okay? Wait, but, where are you going this Saturday? I'm going to Willock Place. Willock Place? Yeah, if you want to come, I'll just drop by, okay? What time? Uh, I will be there from maybe 9 a.m. all the way to 1, 2 p.m. 1, what? 1 to 2 p.m. 1 to 2, uh, okay. Mm. Okay, so I stop now.